In this tutorial, we will create house cross section drawing. So, this this will be the drawing that we will be creating. So, cross section has been taken as per this section line A B C D. That means at this position it has been cut and this has been removed and by standing here if you look on this side then what is visible that we will be drawing in the cross section drawing so when we cut this so we can view this uh, wall then this wall this door then this door then this this door this wall and this window and this wall so all those component will be visible so from here so we'll just start it so for uh, creating wall we will be again using the wall layer so we'll take line command and track this point the length point click make ortho on for straight line then track this another point click enter to come out then we will offset this line by 0.3 offset 0.3 enter select object go on the right side and click there and enter so at first this this wall is created so after that this wall is created after that this wall to be created so this wall will be that means this wall so the gap between this and this wall is 2.1 meter so we will be again offset by 2.1 meter this wall on the right side again select this wall and the wall thickness is 0.15 enter so this wall is created after that this wall so this wall at a distance of 4 4 meter 4 meter so we will offset again from this point at a distance of 4 and again from this point to this point 0.3 so in this way these three walls has been created and again this wall so again the gap between this wall is 4.5 so again we will offset by 4.5 select this line give 4.5 and again thickness is 0 0.3 0 0.3 so enter to come out so these three walls has been four walls has been created so after that slab to be made so we will take line command from this point go on the left side and give point 0.3 distance so we can track this point and again from we will click here and after that we will go again for point 0.3 again point 0.15 and connect it back here press enter to come out so this lab is created so next thing we will be creating this footing footing drawing so here the dimension has been given so th this upper dimension is 0.4 and then height is 0.6 so we we'll start it from the center and we will take one uh, create one half and we will mirror it so again we will take go for line or we can also make a layer called footing and give some color for it and make the footing layer current and take the line so i want mid between these two point so just shift hold shift button and right click and choose from here mid between two points and click these two points so it will give you mid automatically so this this distance is 0.2 then height is 0.6 up to 
after that so this is distance is 0.4 between these two vertical lines so we have taken 0.2 height we are given 0.6 after that next is 0.6 again that means we will have to go by 0.1 only and after that this is 0.8 so again 0.1 so in this way and height is 0.35 so from here we will go for 0.1 Point 0.1 this is point 0.6 point 0.1 alright 4 plus 2 ok after that point uh, height is point 0.35 point 0.35 so height we will be point 0.35 again we will go by point 0.1 again we will give height of point 0.35 enter after that this footing length they have not okay it is 1.2 so 0 0.8 0 0.4 that means 0 0.2 outside by 0 0.2 and below 0 0.2 so here we will again go for 0 0.2 and below 0 0.2 then we will come up to center and press enter to come out so in this way this has been created after that we will mirror it so just create the mirror select object using window selection enter give the first first point give the second point press enter to come out then connect these two lines using join command joint so a single line will be form press enter to come out so in this way the footing is ready and after that ok we will copy this footing at these 3 positions or 4 positions actually so we will choose copy then select object enter then we will take this end point and now we want to copy at mid between these two points so just hold down shift press shift button and right click and click on mid between two points and click these two points again shift right click mid between two points again shift right click mid between these two points enter that means these footings are now ready all the four footings has been placed properly then this footing to be cut at a point six at in second position so for that here it needs to be cut and we have to put that zigzag line so for that you can go to express tools choose express click on express tools and select this break line symbol then track the midpoint click give the second point and give the position for break symbol so in this way it has been created then go to home trim enter remove this object enter then erase give e enter and select by crossing window press enter so in this way this has been created so now next we will start this detailing so here this door is required so this door is this door so it is of point eight dimension so we already have created one door here so we can copy the same door here so we'll just copy it copy select object enter then take this as a base point and we will make it we can track this midpoint above and click there actually we can copy this uh, door here also so here we will copy that again we will track the midpoint and click press escape to come out now this door size is currently it is of 1 meter length we can check that it is 1 meter but we need it 
of 0.8 so we'll just stretch it by 0.2 so select the stretch give the point give another point enter give the base point give the direction and give the distance of 0.2 so this second door now this second door is this door so it is of 0.9 so we will stretch by 0.1 so we will stretch it again stretch select object enter base point direction 0.1 now the third door is again here so we will mirror it so it will come on the opposite side also so that this door will be created so we will just mirror it so mirror select object using crossing window enter then mirror line will be at the center so you can choose this end point give the second point enter so in this way this door is created so in this way door has been created then we can create this window so for creating this this window is of 2 meter length so we can use this window directly so we are viewing from inside here this uh, actually this window will be created there we are viewing from inside therefore we don't need this locked so we will copy this window so it is at a center of this so we just will create one line at the middle to take the reference so create a line and we want line between these two points so shift right click mid between two points and we will create up to this enter escape to come out then we will just copy this window copy select object use the window selection enter this point we will just keep it here and we will place it later properly after completion escape so this window was of 15 1.5 meter length we need of 2 meter length so we will stretch it by another 500 mm so stretch select object enter give the base point give the direction and give the distance of 0.5 that means this window is is now of 2 meter length escape then we will just copy this here so we will just copy select object enter so we will take this as a base point and this as a second point escape to come out so in this way this window is ready now this midpoint should be at this point so we will move it move select object enter take this midpoint put at this intersection point then erase e enter this line enter so in this way this window has been placed properly so window all doors are there so after that we will create suppose these these lines 0.6 lines and these ground level lines so for that again we will take suppose line command and from this or we can connect these lines also escape modify joint click on these lines or directly you can connect this enter so it has been connected so same way 0.6 line you can connect joint this line and this line enter so this line is created then in between actually we don't need line in between so we will just trim it so for trim you can give tr as a shortcut press enter then again press enter for selecting all object as a cutting edges and click on the object to be removed so in this way this is created so after this one more line is required for to show the ground level so click line draw it escape to come out press enter to repeat the line command 
first point second point and enter so this below part is created then after this now this dividation needs to be done there so for that suppose we will take it point 3 then suppose point 1.25 we'll just start it offset Set by point 3, select this line inside. Again, after this, suppose we will go for 1.25. Okay, point 20, 1.25 will not be there, actually, it will be 0 0.125. So, it will be select the line 0 0.125. Zero point one two five. Now again, select this line. Zero point one two five. So in this way, after that, this sand bed we will take now remained its. Take it one and point seventy five. That means zero point one and zero point zero seven five. So press enter, we will take offset and distance is 0 0.1, enter and give on the upper side, click and give on the upper side, press enter to come out, remove this line, E enter, select enter. So in this way this layer has been created. So next will be. So all the drawing work has been completed. So what is remained is hatching, then dimensioning. So that we will be doing in the next tutorial. Thank you. We'll stop here.